Welcome back and thanks for joining us. If you're new to our channel, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified of each new video. Look at that. This, just wanna soak it up. In the last video, we parked Casablanca at Forio National Park and eagerly set out to explore Cape Bonami. It delivered a spectacularly misty view of the Gulf. It was great to be back in nature after many, many months. In this video, we explore the rocky shore behind our campsite and visit a nearby waterfall called simply La Chute. The waterfall is also near the campground and it seems that there's no end to the beauty to be seen in this area. Hey, good morning guys. It is a beautiful morning today, let me tell you. So, June 23, it's uh, Saint Jean Baptiste day today at midnight. So, bon Saint Jean, tous mes amis. So, right in back of our spot, we have access to a beach. So, we're doing our morning walk with Fiona. It's about seven in the morning. No coffee, but I got my tea. And the weather it is beautiful. Not even a cloud in the sky. They said it was supposed to rain, but so far, so good. Hey guys, this is Dory, and I'm Mena. We travel with our lovely dog Fiona to help you discover the most beautiful spots and to share with you what it's like to live as a nomad. So subscribe and welcome to our channel. Oh no. Pooing with a view? You have to go, you have to go. It's funny how she faced the ocean. <laughs> <laughs>
garbage are empty because there's nobody here. Still sunny, it's getting dark. My rain, not sure, I hope not. My washing station. They even gave us soap. We don't have services besides electric, right? So we gotta save on water and also the gray water. So I'm gonna do my dishes over here. Plus I need to wash my bucket. I think the facilities over here are brand new. Uh, um, really nice, honestly. You have a sink. Stainless steel, love it. Easy to clean, easy to maintain, so it's perfect. You also have hot water, cold water. That's awesome. So you have another sink over here, another station. Nice tables. We do have a nice fireplace. Another sink. This is the bathroom. Super clean. Showers are just awesome. So it's a really, really nice setup over here. Love the bathroom. Showers are good, good pressure, but not enough water. It's like a little stream coming down, but it's still hot water. I mean, I've been to some campgrounds that they control the hot water, so you're showering in almost cold water. Hey guys, we're at the waterfall hike, and this is an easy hike in the park. It's a one kilometer loop. It takes on average 30 minutes, and that's good for us because a storm is rolling in. You can hear the thunder in the background. And it ends in a waterfall. So it's actually a loop. It doesn't really end at the waterfall. So you go see the waterfall and then it loops out again. So we're going to get going though because we don't want to get stuck in the rain. Short and sweet. So it's starting to rain a little bit, a few drops here and there. But at least we're doing something.
it's pretty from down there. What do you think? Yeah, it's nicer. All right, time to go. Time to go. It's raining, all right. Mosquitoes. Yeah, skeeters are coming out. Full force. Hey, well, hey, at least we did two different things today. The walk on the beach. All right. And then we did the waterfall. So. Yeah. So even though if it's raining, we're trying to make the best of it. So right now we are. How cool is this? Birthplace of Canada. There's so much history right here. What is this spot? It's the birthplace of Canada, the spot where Jacques Cartier first set foot in Canada. It's pretty cool actually. You see the original map. Gaspé's unique natural characteristics made it a prime location. Gaspé Bay is one of the best natural deep water harbors in the world and its location between two points of land protects it from the elements. As a result, even the largest ships could dock easily in the harbor. It's pretty cool. What's more, the waters of the Gaspé were rich with codfish, mackerel and whale and the dense surrounding forest provided abundant materials for the workers and fishermen who settled here. Understanding all this, Jersey businessmen bought up property to better position themselves in commercial relations with the rest of Quebec, Canada, and the world. It says that Jacques Cartier entrance this arbor July 24, 1534. Pretty cool.